Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Tuesday. We got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today. So be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below. And if you guys like betting on MLB player props, you already know, go and sign up with Parlay Play in the description below. Sign up for free, get free entries just for signing up. Check out the site. Hopefully you guys do like it. And yeah, we'll hop in it here. Busy slate today. 15 matchups. Starting with the Chicago Cubs versus the Cincinnati Reds. The Reds opening up as home favorites at minus 115. The Cubs minus 105 with the over-under at 8. Pitching for the Cubs is Marcus Stroman with an ERA of 4.88. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, and had six strikeouts. Pitching for the Reds is Tyler Molly with an ERA of 4.60. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, and had four strikeouts. Cubs coming off a 7-4 win against Cincinnati. Um, they're 5-1 and one against the Reds. Um, a pretty even pitching matchup here, but I like the fact you can get the Cubs as the underdog here. Um, you know, looked good yesterday in yesterday's matchup here. I'm going to take the Cubs plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we have the Miami Marlins versus the Tampa Bay Rays. Tampa Bay opening up as home favorites at minus 165. The Marlins plus 140 with the over-under at 6.5. Pitching for the Marlins is Pablo Lopez with an ERA of 1.76. His last start, he pitched three innings, gave up three runs, and had two strikeouts. Pitching for the Red or for the uh, Rays is Shane McClanahan with an ERA of 2.33. His last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up one run and had seven strikeouts. Miami coming off that four to three win against Atlanta. Tampa Bay coming off a you know a tough loss against Baltimore, seven to six. Miami, they're one and eight on the road against Tampa, two and fifteen against Tampa Bay. They just cannot beat the Rays. Um, pretty even pitching matchup here. Yeah. I like the Rays at home. Marlins, they really struggled big time against the Rays. Rolling with Tampa Bay at home. Next matchup, we have the Baltimore Orioles versus the New York Yankees. The Yankees opening up as home favorites at minus 260. Baltimore plus 210 with the over-under at 8. Pitching for the Orioles is Bruce Zimmerman with an ERA of 2.83. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up five runs and had two strikeouts. Pitching for the Yankees is Jordan Montgomery with an ERA of 3.35. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs and had three strikeouts. Baltimore coming off a 6-4 to four win against the Yankees yesterday. Um, Yankees on a three-game losing streak right now. We know Baltimore struggles against the Yankees. 5-15 and 15 on the road against New York. I think the Yankees bounce back today after that bad loss against the Orioles yesterday. Um, I think the Yankees bounce back at home here. Rolling with the Yankees. Next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Washington Nationals. Dodgers opening up as road favorites at minus 245. The Nationals plus 195 with the over-under at 8.5. Pitching for the Dodgers is Walker Bueller with an ERA of 2.89. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, and had four strikeouts. Pitching for the Nationals is Josiah Gray with an ERA of 4.36. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, and had seven strikeouts. Dodgers coming off a 10 to 1 win against Washington yesterday, where they, you know, played very well. The Nationals are just 3-7 and seven in their last 10. The Dodgers on an 8-game winning streak against Washington. Washington 2-13 and 13 at home. Yeah, love Walker Bueller on the mound. Dodgers coming off a great game yesterday where they dominated the Nationals. Rolling with the Dodgers on the road. 
Next matchup, we have the Philadelphia Phillies versus the Atlanta Braves. Braves opening up as home favorites at minus 165. The Phillies plus 140 with the over under at 8. Pitching for the Phillies is Kyle Gibson with an ERA of 3.98. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, and had seven strikeouts. Pitching for the Braves is Max Freed with an ERA of 3.31. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, and had six strikeouts. The Phillies coming off a 7-3 win against Atlanta yesterday. Played very well. Uh, Atlanta on a two-game losing streak. Um, yeah, to lay minus 165 on the Braves, that seems very risky based on how they played yesterday, which was horrible. Um, a pretty even pitching matchup here. I'm going to take the Phillies plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we have the Detroit Tigers versus the Minnesota, Win Minnesota Twins. Twins opening up as home favorites at minus 260. The Tigers plus 210 with the over-under at 8. Pitching for the Tigers is Bo Brisky with an ERA of 5.13. His last start, he pitched 5 innings, gave up 6 runs, and had 4 strikeouts. Pitching for the Twins is Sonny Gray with an ERA of 3.48. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, and had one strikeout. Detroit, uh, one and four in their last five, coming off a five to four loss against Minnesota yesterday. Minnesota on a five game winning streak, playing very well right now. Detroit, four and 14 on the road, just not a good road team at all here. Um, I do like the Twins at home. On a nice winning streak, playing very good baseball here, rolling with the Twins at home. Next matchup, we have the Toronto Blue Jays versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Toronto opening up as road favorites at minus 150. St. Louis plus 130 with the over-under at 7.5. Pitching for the Blue Jays is Kevin Gosman with an ERA of 2.52. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs and had three strikeouts. Pitching for the Cardinals is Jordan Hicks with an ERA of 4.21. His last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up two runs and had five strikeouts. Toronto losing yesterday's matchup 7-3. They're on a two-game losing streak. Cardinals on a four-game winning streak right now. Toronto just 1-7 on the road where they actually have been struggling a bit. Um... I'm, I'm going to take a shot with the Cardinals, plus one and a half at home. They're playing good baseball. You know, I do like Kevin Gosman on the mound for the Blue Jays here, but, you know, minus 150 for the Blue Jays, That's a I think that's a risky play based on how they've been playing so far. Um, I'm going to take the Cardinals plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we have the Boston Red Sox versus the Chicago White Sox. The White Sox opening up as home favorites at minus 175. The Red Sox plus 145 with the over-under at 7.5. Pitching for the Red Sox is Nick Pavetta with an ERA of 4.22. His last start, he pitched 9 innings, gave up 1 run, and had 8 strikeouts. Pitching for the White Sox is Dylan Cease with an ERA of 3.09. His last start, he pitched 5 innings. Gave up zero runs and had nine strikeouts. Boston on a five-game winning streak right now. They're playing very well. White Sox on a two-game winning streak. Coming off a couple of wins against the Yankees. Um, yeah, I like the Red Sox plus one and a half on the road. Not sure I love the White Sox minus 175. That just seems very risky. Red Sox on a nice little winning streak here. I'm going to take Boston plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we have the Cleveland Guardians versus the Houston Astros. Houston opening up as home favorites at minus 200. Cleveland plus 170 with the over-under at 8. Pitching for the Guardians is Zach Plesac with an ERA of 4.42. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, and had three strikeouts. Pitching for Houston is Framer Valdez with an ERA of 2.68. His last start, he 
His last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up one run, and had seven strikeouts. Cleveland coming off a 6-1 to one win against Houston yesterday. Yeah, it's just one of those games Houston just could not hit the... Could not get anything going. Um, Cleveland just 2-7 and seven against Houston here. Um, I like Houston at home. Love Fran Valdez on the mound. I think they definitely turned things around after that horrible performance yesterday. Rolling with the Astros at home. Next matchup, we have the Texas Rangers versus the Los Angeles Angels. Angels opening up as home favorites at minus 175. Texas plus 145 with the over-under at 8. Pitching for the Rangers is Dane Dunning with an ERA of 3.92. His last start, he pitched 6 innings. Gave up 2 runs and had 6 strikeouts. Pitching for the Angels is Noah Syndergaard with an ERA of 3.60. His last start, he pitched half an inning, gave up four runs, and had one strikeout. Rangers on a two-game losing streak right now. Angels on a two-game winning streak. Um, Angels are 11-3 and three at home. Yeah, you know, Syndergaard coming off a couple bad performances on the mound here. Um, I like the Angels at home. Kind of pricey, but... Um, I would say it's a pretty even pitching matchup, and um, so I do trust the Angels more at home here. I'm going to roll with Los Angeles. Next matchup, we have the Kansas City Royals versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. Arizona opening up as home favorites at minus 200. The Royals plus 165 with the over-under at 8.5. Pitching for the Royals is Jonathan Heasley with an ERA of 4.32. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, and had one strikeout. Pitching for Arizona is Zach Gallen with an ERA of 1.14. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, and had four strikeouts. Yeah, the Royals on a five-game losing streak right now. Um, Arizona coming off a 9-5 to win against the Royals yesterday. Played very well. Um... Yeah, I like Arizona at home. Love Zach Gallon on the mound. He's been great this season for Arizona here. Rolling with the Diamondbacks at home. Next matchup, we have the Milwaukee Brewers versus the San Diego Padres. Brewers opening up as road favorites at minus 135. The Padres plus 115 with the over-under at 6.5. Pitching for the Brewers is Corbin Burns with an ERA of 2.26. His last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up four runs and had five strikeouts. Pitching for the Padres is Blake Snell with an ERA of 7.36. His last start, he pitched three innings. Gave up three runs and had five strikeouts. Yeah, the Brewers losing to the Padres yesterday, 3-2. Um, Padres I'm on a five-game winning streak right now. Playing pretty good baseball. Um, you know, Blake Snell's... You know, his numbers are kind of inflated. It hasn't been that horrible on the mound. Um, he's definitely given up some runs, but uh, Corbin Burns coming off the last game where he gave up four runs here. I'm going to take the Padres plus one and a half at home on a nice on a nice winning streak, playing good baseball here. I'm going to take the Padres plus one and a half. Next matchup, we have the Oakland Athletics versus the Seattle Mariners. Seattle opening up as home favorites at minus 160. Oakland plus 135 with the over-under at 7. Pitching for Oakland is James Caprillian with an ERA of 4.50. His last start, he pitched 5 innings, gave up 2 runs, and had 6 strikeouts. Pitching for the Mariners is George Kirby with an ERA of 3.60. His last start, he pitched 5 innings. Gave up five runs and had three strikeouts. Yeah, Seattle winning yesterday's matchup 7-6. to six. Oakland on a three-game losing streak right now. 0-7 on the road against Seattle. Just haven't been able to beat Seattle here. Um, I like the Mariners at home here. Kirby's been you know pretty solid on the mound for the Mariners. And I just don't trust Oakland. They just have not been playing very well. I'm going to take the Mariners at home. 
Next matchup, we have the New York Mets versus the San Francisco Giants. Giants opening up as home favorites at minus 135. The Mets plus 115 with the over-under at 7. Pitching for the Mets is Chris Bassett with an ERA of 2.77. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs, and had three strikeouts. Pitching for the Giants is Logan Webb with an ERA of 3.54. His last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up three runs, and had six strikeouts. Yeah, the Mets winning 13-3 yesterday. I mean, they dominated the Giants. Giants on a five-game losing streak. Mets 4-1 and one on the road where they've been playing pretty solid. I'm going to take the Mets plus 1.5 on the road. Giants struggling. I like Chris Bassett on the mound. Give me the Mets plus 1.5. And, and then the last matchup, we have the Colorado Rockies versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Pittsburgh opening up as home favorites at minus 140. Colorado plus 120 with the over-under at 8.5. Pitching for the Rockies is Kyle Freeland with an ERA of 4.85. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, and had eight strikeouts. Pitching for the Pirates is Ronzi Contreras with an ERA of 3.52. His last start, he pitched three innings, gave up zero runs, and had four strikeouts. That was last season. Uh, hasn't really pitched this season. Um, Colorado losing to Pittsburgh 2-1 to one yesterday. They're on a two-game losing streak. Um, they are 4-1 and one against Pittsburgh. Really not in love with this matchup here. I'd say a pretty even pitching matchup. Rosie, Ronzi hasn't pitched very much at all. Um, I'm going to take the Rockies plus 1.5 on the road. And that's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Tuesday. Hope you guys all cash out, and I'll see you guys Wednesday. Have a good one.